Good morning. The birth should be today. So I have to try to think about who to name this animal after. Now I think if I look deep into my reservoir of name category machines that I could seem to have pondered deep from within myself, I will say, in fact, that the newest, the newest of animals is named Blue Gamer because they commented so they're not safe from my my naming wrath. Unless their name's too long, then they're very safe. Let's see. Are they going to fit? We'll see. Oh, you can't. It's not gonna fit. But, you might think that. But, in fact, if I press the button, the O button, and I just put an R in there, it, it works. That, that's how grammar works, right? So we have the newest sheep, not sheep, the newest chicken blue gamer has been added to the list of chickens on my farm. Now there's probably gonna be another chicken, then I'm not ready. I'm definitely not ready at that point. I'm gonna have to try to figure something out. Actually, I do have the next chicken, so I am a genius. So we're going to watch the weather and see what we have for the first day of winter. It's gonna be sunny. It's the last day of fall. Things are gonna happen today. Everything's gonna fall apart. The whole season is going to change tomorrow. This is the last day that you get to listen to this lovely track in the background today. And yes, you did hear me fumbling through my comment section, trying to find some name for that chicken. I remember there was somebody, but I couldn't remember exactly how to spell it if it was something crazy. So I had to misspell it, but you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes when you're trying to be a great, great farmer guy. So we're going to take all these mushrooms and stuff and put them in here. We can have up to 99, so I can get quite the collection going. We got three truffles, we got six egg plants. I'm gonna kinda try to grab as much stuff as I can off the field and add them to my farm. I don't know if there's like a fast way to put these down in the bottom or not, but I'm sure I'll find that out way too late. Don't really wanna experiment right now. I'm kinda trying to do things that I already know how to do. So how much money do we have from our harvests of past days? We have 18,000, we got 2,000 more. I don't know when we can get the the hoe back. I'm not gonna bother watering, there's no point. I actually don't even need them to water. I mean, they're gonna be gone tomorrow. Like whatever is here, is that's it. Let's pick up the dog, take him over here. I have the ball somewhere. I do want him to, the ball disappeared. Now I know for a fact I put the ball right here, I think. No, I didn't. Okay, never mind. I had to redo the last episode once. So, in one universe, I did. Wow, that's a good way to get him to catch the ball. Just throw it right at him. Just kapow. Now, you don't need to... There you go. You can leave it right there, buddy. So, we're gonna pick up the rest of these. I think what I might do... I don't need to... I don't need to sickle them, but... There's not really much else I could really do with them. So, let's pick this up. Now, I think in the spring, I'm going to move the grass to the bottom right corner, because there's no reason for me to have it out. But, I might just to keep it where it's at for now. Don't know why I slipped into a weird accent. Mostly because I just started to think about the possibilities of winter. Wiping out my entire field. Actually, I was thinking about whether or not the snow gets rid of the grass, or if it comes back in the spring. I don't remember. So we're gonna put all these eggplants in here. Plenty of things to do, and plenty of things to see. Let's see, we got two eggplants and a whole bunch of green peppers. So I have plenty of those. Now I know I can't sell them, but if I ever get in a pinch, I could come into my kitchen and sell all my fancy cooking ingredients. I should probably start collecting some golden eggs and putting them in my fridge. I like to have them. They're a nice little collection tool. So, I need to go back and make sure there's no shopping. I think shopping networks on Saturday, so I'm not gonna check it again today. But at some point, it would be a good idea to see. I don't think I'm gonna take any more things inside. I'm gonna go in here, we're gonna check on the cows, see how Chef's doing. I should have two animal guys just alternating, but he's in here. He's trying to feed them, he's doing something. It looks like these cows are ready for milking, actually. Let's do this. You got it? Yes! I have achieved my first milk. The first milk came from which cow? Virtual heart! But I'm gonna try to go around. 
help milk the rest of the cows. It might take him even longer now because of the milk. So that one's still a baby. I think that's Snowdrop. I'm gonna go over here. We got three milks a day. I am excited. We're gonna do this nice, nice picture for the video today. There we go. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna sell these. Got three milks. How exciting. I gotta talk to them all if I can get to them. And I'm gonna help take care of the chickens. I think he can handle the the cows, I hope. Looks like he's already got a couple of the foods down, so I'm gonna go take care of chickens now. There we go. All the all the dudes are good. So we're gonna go and I'm gonna feed chickens so that I can go and chop some stuff. And actually, let's put all the stuff... Actually, I don't have anything in my backpack. I'm gonna put the uh, apples and honey and a bunch of... Not a bunch of eggs. I want the eggs to be sold. We should have another chicken being born soon. If I think about it, probably tomorrow. They're all one day off. But I've got it all planned out. And I've been thinking ahead of time this time. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm still a little sick. Just so you know. Okay, so we're gonna take these apples and put them down here. So we're gonna have six apples and two honeys, at least. I don't think the honey comes in the other seasons. I mean, in winter, of course. So, we're gonna go on a chopping spree after the chickens. I don't know, I like that chopping spree is like a pun on shopping spree. It makes me laugh inside, internally. I know it's not funny, but I just like, the, it, I like how it rolls off the tongue. So, oh, we gotta feed the fish. Don't I, I need to have 50 of these guys at some point. So, how many do I have now? Nine still? At least they're all large, right? That's gotta mean something. Nine large fish all in a pond. Okay, so I'm gonna take this one. We do want a full chicken coop. That is my goal. Their hen house is full. If you hatch a chick, there'd be no place to put its food. On the ground! We'll just put it all on the ground. Oh well. I don't think chickens are really... Oh man, the harvest fry would do a better job than me. Probably shouldn't be doing this myself. Come on, I'm gonna try to feed a couple of these guys. I got, what, a lot of chickens? I'm just gonna do a full backpack because I don't know. We have like, what, nine chickens now? And the egg is the tenth chicken, which will be tomorrow. But hey, at least I'll have a full hen house, right? Now, I believe that Chef can handle doing the rest of this on his own. I just want to give him a little bit of a head start, you know? Just a 100% head start. Actually, I might as well just... Actually, that's nine. So he doesn't even have to come in here anymore, so he has no excuse not to get done. Unless he wants to sell a couple eggs. Which is what it looks like happened. If we look at the chickens, they all look happy? Yeah, they're all happy. Okay. So I'm out of here. So I can pretty much win the chicken festival with any chicken. I have to win chicken sumo though, which is a little bit of a challenge. I think I got kind of lucky the first time, but that's all you need to be. All you need is a little bit of luck and a little bit of magic. Oh, pa 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 What was it like where you used to live? She's still got green heart. I want to go places. Cool. Let's go places together. Okay, so I'm going to chop these. Collect the things. It's gonna be great. Hand them back. Once in a while I lose my voice, and I gotta get it back. And there it goes. It comes and goes. Like some kind of chameleon of karma. So we're gonna chop all these. Try to collect what I can. I don't even know how much wood I have at this point. I probably have a decent amount. I have 430. I probably could upgrade the barn if I wanted to. I was getting, I'm getting real close to, what, 470 I think is what I need. Though I don't think I'm going to do it right now. I'm gonna wait because I don't want to use all of my money and then have spring come around and I can't afford to buy seeds. I want to be able to get my field pretty, pretty filled up. I don't want to do it to the same extent I did in fall because that was a mess. Fall, fall was definitely a huge mess as far as, whoa, the game kind of skipped a little bit. It's not like a surprise. It does it all the time at noon, but like I was saying, I just want to make it more manageable, so more of a realistic setup. Something that I can water alongside the Harvest Sprites. Also, the fact that it's had hundreds of flowers that were not doing me any good, that really hurt my profits. 
But I got that power berry. That's all that matters. So, I really came out ahead if you think about it like that. I don't really need to go up to the top of the mountain today, but I'm going to. You know, I I need the wood a little bit, but I'm kind of just ready for um, winter to start. So, we're going to be doing a little bit of stuff. I'm going to chop this. I'm going to chop the... I might hit the rock since I'm up here already. I'm not sure. Collect the truffle. Put that in my backpack. Actually, my, is my backpack full? Wow. Well, we're gonna throw the green... the green thing into my belly. So now we're gonna go... the animals know I'm in the room now. They're going to try to come in here and sabotage. Let's chop this. I'm gonna chop the rock. I think we might even go to sleep super early today. Just so I can wrap up the season. Nothing really planned beyond these couple things. And my Harvest Bright's doing an excellent job taking care of the cows. And we'll have another chicken born tomorrow on the first of winter. So that's pretty cool. Hopefully I can do a lot of mining and focus on talking to villagers and making friends and stuff. Or, you know, more importantly, getting Popery to like me more during this uh, winter season. So that's pretty much all we needed to do today. I might try to collect a couple more things, but overall the ice is just gonna wipe everything out. I am gonna check really quickly to see if my hoe is done, because that'd be pretty cool. Cause I think that was like the 80... I mean, it might have only been two days, but maybe it's been three. Yep, it's not open till tomorrow, so tomorrow I'll get the hoe, and then it'll be the first, and then we're gonna do a whole bunch of stuff, so next season is going to be interesting. I'm gonna wait for Zach to come around, though I'm not gonna give him anything. I'm gonna put these in the fridge. I'm gonna come back outside, and then Zach will come, and then I will go to sleep. That's the that's the methodology that I like to enact around here. So we're gonna take the... I don't know why I even collect the poisonous mushrooms. They're not good for you. You can't eat the things. They must have some use, though. I don't know if they actually do in, like, real life, like, poisonous mushrooms, if they have any sort of medicinal value, besides, you know, deadly toxins. We got plenty of good stuff here, though. So I'm gonna go out here and probably just wander around, maybe pick up some stuff. If my sickle wasn't so ready, already, at, like, max, I'd be chopping these down manually, trying to get my sickle power up, but it really does not matter at this point. We could, though. It doesn't matter. We can just roam, run around, and cause all sorts of pathways like this. Just go right through. I didn't whistle to the horse, I don't think, today. Which is important to do. It keeps the affections up. Because just whistling to them and having them respond is one point. Which is basically counts as an interaction. What I should be doing is just going around and hitting these with a hammer. Trying to get my hammer experience up. Hey, Zach. It's the last day of fall. I'm just kind of doing some fall cleaning. Is my dog down? Ooh, my dog is down here. I can just walk around and do this. Actually, how much hammer do I have? I could do that for a little while. Let's see. 95%. Let's try that. Let's uh, go down here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go uh, go all the way until I'm tired. Just going back and forth. Kind of like a, like a farming printer of some sort. Although I have to go down here. I'm going to do it like snake version where I have to go up here, then down and then down, just kind of making like weird zigzags. So, question of the day is, instead of what is your, hmm, actually no, that's already been done. Which, um, let's see, no, that's not the good good question either. You know, I don't actually have a good answer for any question. Um, what is your favorite moon cycle? What, <laughs> like, like, do you like the full moon, the blood moon, the new moon? Like the crescent moon, the 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 solar eclipse moon, I don't know. What's your or har the harvest moon? I don't know. What's your favorite kind of kind of moon phase? I guess it's the best thing I can think of. So what is our? Does this count? Does this count as hammer? Oh my gosh, this counts as hammer. We're doing this all night. I didn't realize this is actually gonna work so well. So we're gonna just do this like crazy until I pass out. No, I, I really didn't know. 
I really didn't know that you could, um, that hitting the, the till the ground with the hammer was like actually hitting something with a hammer. So it's actually really fast to do that. So we're gonna go a little bit longer than I thought today. Cause I've, like I've been kind of sick. So I was like, I'll just do a short, a couple short episodes, you know, and then I ended up just doing long episodes instead. So that's why I sound kind of weird. At least I think I do. Like I'm, I'm thinking I do. So we're gonna probably stay in here until, I don't know, close to nine. I think that'll be long enough. My character's asleep. We don't have any animals outside, so we don't have to worry about them. And the harvest sprites work till 10, so then I definitely don't have to worry about my animals getting sick or whatever. So that's good. We'll, we'll jump on out right now. We're gonna go on a hammer spree, and then once I get tired. Unfortunately, winter, you can't till the ground, so this thing I just discovered only applies for the next, like, couple hours of the day. And then it will start snowing and getting cold. And that's the whole... That's the next season, like next season on Harvest Moon, Back to Nature, Winter has arrived. It's basically what I'm talking about. It's basically like some kind of drama. So we're just going to keep working our way. Now I'm really curious to see how much hammer percentage we're going to get from doing this. I'm not going to look again until I'm done hammering all the squares that I can before like getting super tired. It's going to be super late in the day though. But I'm really curious, like, how far can I go until, if I can get my hammer really close, that'd be awesome. I'm kind of surprised the wild dog doesn't attack you on the farm, you know? Like, I know you're bigger than it, but, like, if it's hungry, it just needs to be, like, a big pack of them. It'd be real, real scary but if you had to worry about yourself being attacked by wild dogs. Not that I'd want that to be in a Harvest Moon game, I'd rather just relax, you know? Like, that's like the most stressful thing in this whole game, is like an animal attacking your, your animals. You're like, ah, my animals, I have to protect them, and it's really hard to hit the dogs with it. Then I feel kind of bad, but I've had two wild dog attacks in this series so far, so nothing out of, nothing, nothing I can't handle. So we've got quite a few things chopped up. I probably could have super sped, but I'd rather just hang out and talk for a little bit. So we're just gonna keep going. So this is actually quite fun. Just chopping. It's kinda like a it's like a mindless chore, I guess. I don't know how much longer I should be doing this. I've gotta be getting close to my my mystery level. I'm getting pretty tired though. Once my character falls over, that's where I wanna call it quits for the day. And I'll be going to sleep. At least you don't lose half your money. There's like one game. I don't remember what it was. It might have been... I don't know which Harvest Moon... I don't know if it was a Harvest Moon game, but you lost like half your money for passing out. So what are we at now for the hammer? 178. We're really close. Like, I think what? I need like 20% more. It makes me want to just keep going because it's something that I could do tan tangibly. I've got fatigue building up. And it's 1 o'clock in the morning. 182. I'm so close though. But it's so late in the day. I think we're gonna just go to sleep. But I'm gonna oversleep if I don't go to the hot spring. So I'm gonna go to the hot spring, then we're gonna go home, and then we're gonna sleep. Just so I don't oversleep in the first day of winter. Not that there's really anything to do in the winter. But you gotta do it. So we're gonna go in here. We're gonna hit the water. Look at this. Today was supposed to be a I was actually shooting for like maybe like ten minutes. We're getting a little bit of extra time here. So go to sleep, farmer. Sleep in the hot spring. I heard that this is like better than just sleeping because you can restore your stamina before you go to sleep and you won't oversleep. So if you think you're gonna oversleep, just go to the hot spring for like an hour or 30 minutes and you won't oversleep anymore. It's like a, it's like a secret pro tip. Unless you waste it all, waste all your energy. So now we're gonna go, I could always go and chop that one rock every day when I go to the winter mine. So, I mean, maybe by the end of winter I can have the hammer upgraded. Oh yeah, you used a hoe in the mines. That's why I wanted the hoe to be done by the first of winter. So, that's the bright side. I could also just plant um, wood pieces and chop those like this. I'm really running out of time. So, we're going to go to sleep now. So, yeah, what's your, uh, what's your favorite moon phase? I know it's a weird question. People probably don't even think about that, but like when you look up at the sky, when you're like, wow, that's a cool looking moon. All right, everybody, 
Good night, and I'll see you in winter.